Welcome to Cooking with Taz. <laughs> As you all probably know, at Lakey Speed, we all love eating and sharing delicious food. Who doesn't? <laughs> Our porridge and play and picnic and play sessions are all about playing, but they are also about having delicious food together as a nice way to chat and get to know each other. So I have been thinking about all the food we share at Porridge and Play and Picnic and Play and I have come up with some delicious dishes for you to cook at home with your family. <laughs> but we know that it's easy to make lovely nutritious food if you know where to start. So let's start right here. <laughs> having a full meal without any plates. Oh, <laughs> well, using bread as edible plates is an idea as old as, well, as old as when us humans started making bread, I guess. <laughs> All around the world, you can find delicious different types of breads, all of them gorgeous and all of them great to make a portable, tasty and super nutritious sandwich. Yes! So today we're going to make a lickety sandwich with some of my favorite ingredients from our picnic and play table. <laughs> Let's go! Here are all our ingredients and things we're gonna need for our lickety sandwich. So, we're gonna use some cheese. This is nice Scottish cheddar cheese, but you can choose any cheese you like. We're gonna use a pepper, yellow pepper, nice and sweet. Tomato. Some hummus, which is made with chickpeas, amongst other things, and it's really very good for you and an egg that we are going to boil and we'll get to that in a minute and of course we need some bread so in this case I've chosen some baguette but you can use any bread that you like and we are also going to need a pot for boiling our egg and some water and of course as usual a grown-up so you know what comes next, get your penny on, wash your hands, and let's get started. Right, so first up, to boil our egg. Now, eggs, well, eggs are absolutely packed with protein. They are a little bit of superfood. They're also so tasty. You can have them boiled, you can have them scrambled on toast, you can have them you can have them soft boil with some bread soldiers and then you can dip them in. Ah, eggs are great. Mm -hmm. Get your egg and put it carefully inside the pot because of course you don't want it to break because you want it to boil. So leave it there and Get your jug of water and cover your egg with the water. Now, a little tip for you. If you have any vinegar at home, you know the vinegar that you put on your chips? Just a little splash of vinegar before you start boiling your egg will make it really easy later to peel your egg get all the shell off it very easily. So that's a wee tip there for you. So what you want to do with this is you want to get your grown up, to get the cooker going. Whoops, wrong hole. Ha <laughs> there we go. And now this water needs to boil. So when you see that the bubbles 
are up there at the top of the water. That means that the water has come to the boy. Oh, there it is. Can you see the bubbles? That's the water boiling. So what you want to do now is bring the heat to the minimum and let it simmer for seven minutes so it's nice and hard boiled. Brilliant. Cool. So, while our egg is boiling, let's get the rest of the ingredients sorted. So now, to chop our tomato and our pepper. Let's go. It's ready. Yeah. So the best way to cool this down is to take it straight into the sink, run the cold water and stick that pot under with the egg inside and let that egg cool down nicely. Let's go for it. Fab, so our egg is ready and it's cold. <laughs> so now we can peel it. So here we go. Take all that shell off. And see how with the little tip of using the vinegar, look how easy it is to get that shell off. No problem. Here we go. Sort it. Right, so we have all our ingredients ready, chopped and uh, waiting for us to build ta -da! our sandwich. So, let's start with the hummus. Okay, so here's the hummus. And as I said earlier, hummus is like a chickpea paste. It's absolutely delicious and it's full of really good stuff for you. Protein, which is great for your muscles. So, chickpeas. Mm. Hummus is made with chickpeas and hummus is very easy to make but also very easy to find in the shops. So no problems there getting some hummus. So first up, I would say a generous amount of hummus on our bread. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And next up, I think we're gonna put some cheese. Cheese. Bits of cheese. Cheese over here. Bits of cheese. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This one is cheddar. You can use any kind of cheese you want. There's blue cheese, there's goat's cheese, there's sheep cheese, all sorts actually. So that's the cheese there. Next up, let's get some tomato slices. Look at that, look at that. Oh, and the colors, eh? Beautiful. Right. And then I think we're gonna put some egg, boiled egg. Delicious, nutritious, super tasty. Very filling as well. This is gonna be a very filling sandwich, I'm telling you. So. Right, here we go. A full egg there. Oh. And last but not least, Pepper, raw like this. Oh, solid. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm, concentrate in the sandwich. Mmm, yeah, yeah. So, pepper bits. Mmm, -hmm. mm -hmm. You probably won't use a whole pepper in the sandwich, but uh, with the rest of the pepper, what you could do is just dip it in the hummus. Is ready now to close our sandwich. Huh? That's the difficult part because it's really filled. But look, look, it holds that great. Here it is, our very own 
lickety sandwich. Look at that. Oh, God, look, even the egg is escaping. Well, hmm, mm -mm, not escaping. So, now you know how to make a fantastic sandwich. Mm. See when you can go back to school. What about taking those for your lunch sometime? Or making them for a, a, a wee trip to the countryside or, or even for a wee picnic in the park. Hmm? Brilliant. Enjoy. I'm going to have my sandwich. Okay? I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Right, here we go. Oh, mm-mm.